In this video, we're going to take a look at routing MIDI to multi timbral instruments within Studio One 5.5. Now, if you're working with VST instruments such as Native Instruments Contact or UVI Falcon, these are multi timbral instruments in that if you bring in one instance of that VST, you have the ability to load multiple sample libraries or instruments within that one instance. So in Contact, for instance, you could bring in one instance and then load a cello sample library, a violin sample library, and then a viola library, all within that one instance. And you may want to have them play different melodies or chord structures, but it's going to be more efficient to load those multiple instruments into one contact instead of bringing in three contacts, especially if you're going to be scoring a lot of instruments, it will be better to have one instance of contact or falcon then bringing in six different instances and loading those individual libraries into each one. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's, it's a, sounds a bit confusing. Let's come to our instruments. Here I'll come to UVI. Let's bring this in. I'm going to come to the factory library. Let's come to our pads. I'll double click on Arctic pad. That loads up. Let's click on info view just to have a simpler view. Now I can immediately trigger and if you notice here within Falcon, we can see our MIDI channel A1. That's simply our MIDI channel. Let's close out. And within Studio One, we have our MIDI Out 1, our MIDI channel 1. If I were to click here and change this to 6, we see we have activity. The data coming from our controller is being received, but it's not working because the channel is not set correctly. Changing that back to input 1, we're back in business. Now, if you're in Falcon or Contact, for instance, Again, this is multi timbral so I can load more than one instrument or sample library at a time. So I'll click on the plus to add a part. If you notice here, that's on A2 or MIDI channel 2. I'll double click to add a city pad here. And we still only hear our first one because this is on A2. So what we could do is close that out. I'll press T as in Tom to bring up our add tracks dialog. Be sure that the type is set to instrument. We want to have existing instrument selected. Then we can click on the drop down menu. We'll choose Falcon. And uh, we have a drop down where we could choose the channel. Let's do input two. Click OK. Now this is highlighted and arm for recording and monitoring. So now we have our second instrument playing back. So in this way, we can continue to add MIDI tracks or instrument tracks and just be sure that we set the channel correctly to multiple instruments or sample libraries within one VST. Because when we close this out, come to the mix console, then we can see there's only one instance of Falcon here. So I feel like this is going to be more efficient than bringing in multiple instances, which could end up eating up your resources. Another cool thing is that we could enter into record. Let's actually enter into record, arm the top one, record a simple melody to both. Let's stop that. So we have this basic melody for both, but then if we wanted to make additional changes to one of them, we could just double click on this and then add, say, a note here and that's going to only affect that first instrument but you could just record your foundational melody and then even enter into record just for one instrument and build on that but keep the second one with that foundation as well now the very last thing I'll mention as far as routing is concerned is that if you end up wanting to use some of these or change which instrument is using these melodies or chord structures that you have you can come here to this top, top menu, click, we only have one Falcon in here, but if you had another instrument, let's go ahead and bring in another instrument. Then we could always come here, select the hive. Let's solo that. And then this is gonna trigger our hive. So just another routing setting to be aware of. 
Now how to set the channel within the particular VST is going to be different. There's tons of multi channel VSTs, so there's no way that I could cover each one. But if you're, you understand what multi channel is and you probably know where to change that setting, I just wanted to specifically cover the routing for Studio One. So I hope that this has been helpful and thanks for watching.